Um, besides being um, an FLW Cup champion this year at Champlain, he made the top 10 championship Sunday and sealed the deal with his fourth AOI title, um, separating himself from Clark Winlet and Andy Morgan. And at this time, I want to introduce to you, he is the reigning 2019 FLW Tour Angler of the Year. He is part of the Polaris Pro Team. Let's hear it for Mr. David Dudley. Exciting moment for me. Uh, I, I got to first thank my family who's here, my wife and my kids. Yes, we had five kids in six years, and it's been a journey with that. And my wife is here with me and my support, and all my kids, and my mom. And I wish my dad could be here. I, I know he'd be proud. And uh, but I thank you and I love you all very dearly. Uh, I don't know why I'm I'm so I reckon. You know, I, I don't really know what to say. I, I truly am humbled to be up here. You know, I was fighting earlier in the year. Uh, well, actually the last few years, my kids kept riding me like, Dad, you haven't won a tournament in six years. And I'm, I'm trying to explain to them like how hard it is to win and, you know, just to accomplish the things that I've accomplished. And they started riding. So, so then it started getting in my mind. And I'm like, man, have I like, have I peaked? Have I like went over the, you know, over the hill? You know, and, and, and fishing has always fascinated me in the fact that, you know, I, I study the game naturally and I, I, I follow along stats and I'm kind of like the guru right there, you know, with stats and, and I look and I'm like, what is it that, you know, what is, what have I lost? What have I, like, what, what did I, what did I have in like 2011 and 12 and, what did I have and what did I miss? And, and fishing, you know, in, in the last year, it, it just started bothering me a little bit. And, you know, I thought about what to talk about tonight. And, and I go back and reflect uh, 2008 when I won. And that was pretty much a, like a surprise. I was, well, we had like 250 anglers in our tour at that year. And I was sitting in 17th place and I never, I never got it. You know, like I was never considered to win Angler Year. I never got an interview. Nobody was like, hey, you know, you think you can win it? It was just, I showed up the last day of the tournament, and they're like, hey, dude, you won Angler of the Year. I'm like, what you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? You know, y'all know where that comes from, right? So, yeah, some of y'all do. So, anyways, that was kind of a surprise to me. And then I look, and I started putting together a pattern because of, Fishermen, we're, we pick up on, my wife gives me a hard time all the, all the time because us, fishermen, our whole life is picking up on patterns, right? How many of y'all guys here, your wives get mad when you pick up on something like that? Well, anyways, mine does. I pick up on patterns a lot. So if I go back and reflect on 2011, 2012, I started questioning, I was like, what's your drive? You know, what was the drive that, that got me to 2011, 2012 Angler of the Year, and what am I missing between? And I wanna encourage you guys to, you know, find something that drives you. We, we all can agree, yeah, we wanna win Angler of the Year, and I wanna win the terms. We have that drive, that's a natural drive in us. But if I go back and look at 2011, 2012, it was a drive that was like, a drive like no other you know we we experienced you know i think a lot of people went through that whatever year with uh nine and ten you know when the economy crashed of course we were hurting as a family you know i actually was doing like in the movies putting water in the milk to make it go through with the cereal i watched my truck go out of my driveway i watched my camper go out of my driveway i watched the house that the extra house we have i watched it go away you know we were in a bad position and I, I told this at the last one that I actually sold all my rods except eight rods to make and have enough money to go to 
the first tournament at Lake Okeechobee. And that was my year and that was my drive that I ended up winning Angle of the Year 2011, then back to back 2012. And it's, I think we all can agree, we don't ever wanna be in that position again. And then fast forward to now, over the six years, and it's so funny that in fishing, I've always been curious, and just like I mentioned earlier, what is it that we lose? What is it that, what is it that drives us? What is it that, that motivates us to, to step up to you know, another level? And one of the crazy, I, I wanna ask you this stat there, Chris. After three moves in a game of chess, how many moves are possible after three moves? I have no idea. Okay, I'm not gonna mistake this. I know the difference between a B and an M. After three moves of a chess game, there's a possible three billion moves in that game. And that game fascinates me. I'm like, how can you have three billion moves on a basically a checkerboard? And fishing in that, is that same way. It's, it, it, and I look at it as there's so many endless possibilities that how can we piece together the puzzle like like the grand masters of chess. I don't know if any of y'all follow chess. Chess is just an amazing game. I'll tell you a quick story. My wife is phenomenal at that game. And I got into playing chess and my whole goal was to beat her. Like, I wanted to beat her so bad. And she's so good at it and of course I'm competitive. And we had this, we got married and this guy gave us this big marble chess set and blah, 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 and we're playing. And I'm like, I'm on my A game. And I'm like, check. I looked at her like, yeah, eat that for your breakfast. She looks at there and she's looking around. I, 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 done, I done moved my army around and I got her. And I'm first time in my life I've checked her and I'm finally going to beat her. And finally, she looks at me and she goes, moves and she goes, check, mate. And I looked, stared at the game. I went, oh my gosh. I took that marble chess set and I threw it, you know, halfway across the room. And I don't think I've ever played another game. But no, I did play you, Vance. I played my kid once and thought I could beat him and he beat me. So I don't play chess no more. I'm not smart enough to play chess or whatever. <laughs> but anyways, this, this to get back, I'm, I'm ADD, as you can tell, I'm all over the place. So to get back to my point is that, you know, chess play, you know, the game of chess is fascinating to me just as, as well as fishing is. And I look at, at what, what did, was I missing during this six year period. And not to, it's not to say that I was, I don't know how to say it, but it's not to say that I was missing something because I've made the championship every year. I've been in the top 10, but you, you know, we all strive to have goals as anglers. And like I said in the beginning, I don't, you know, I don't know how to tell you, but to encourage you to uh, focus on something that what drives you, because we can all take a test on fishing, and you'll get an A, I'll get an A. Where the bass go, you know, it, it, the strategy of fishing is always there. But uh, she was she was giving me a hard time. She goes, I know what motivated you this year. I said, Well, what's that? She said, You didn't want to look like a fool on YouTube. Say, making excuses of why you didn't catch them. And I said, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> you know, I started a YouTube channel this year and it was like, you know, maybe that was my motivation, maybe it wasn't, but either way, I hope you guys can come away with some encouragement to focus on something that makes you, you know, that gives you a drive beyond just, we all can agree we want to win, we want to be successful, and we want to, you know, be at the top level of what we always have, at what, where you want to be. And, uh, but I appreciate all your support and I, I, gotta, I can't come off of here without thanking my father in heaven. And he is my biggest support beyond my family. And without him, I couldn't be up here. And I wanna thank the FLW staff. I've been at this, uh, I've been with them for what? 22 years, I think now, 20. I've started fishing with these guys 22 years ago and to have a platform where I've won like $4 million in fishing is just phenomenal. FLW truly raised the bar. Erwin Jacobs, we can all agree, without him, fishing would have been stagnant. Erwin came in this industry and shook it up. Took us to a whole nother level where we could actually breathe and say, hey, I truly could make a, a living fishing. And without them, you know, I wouldn't be standing up here and being able to buy diapers for my kids years ago. And, 
and everything else that we put on the table. But I want to, you know, I really appreciate the support that you guys give us anglers and give us an opportunity to to be out here and Ranger boats. So I've been with y'all for 24 years now, 24 years, and you know, without their boat, and I know this is going to sound kind of corny, but <laughs> I probably wouldn't have been able to walk up here being in a different boat for 24 years. That is, you know, we can all agree it's the cream of the crop, it's the Cadillac of boats out there. So thank you for giving me a good back. Thank you for supporting my back for 24 years of sitting in a boat, beating my brains out. So. I appreciate it. Thank you all for listening to me.